Matthew chapter 5 verses 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. Faith communities do not exist in isolation from the communities around them. Even though some in our communities may ignore our faith, or even oppose it, the Bible calls us to model God's values in everything we do. As we put into practice God's commitment to children so we can draw others of deferring faith or none at all into shared action on behalf of children. And faith communities do not exist in isolation from one another. Individual churches and Christian organizations must find ways to work together as networks of kindness so that we can see God's heart for children worked out in our communities. We cannot refuse to work with others or on the build up our own church or organization. When we do that, it is a denial of what Jesus prayed for the church in John 17, that Christian believers would be united so that the world would know who Jesus is and come to believe in him. In the Bible, the child was always seen as part of the wider community and would learn values as the adults recited the goodness of God. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 to 9 Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. No one was excluded from the community and everyone was given the opportunity to learn who God was. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verses 12 to 13. Assemble the people, men, women and children, and the foreigners residing in your towns, so that they can listen and learn to fear the Lord your God and follow carefully all the words of this law. Their children, who do not know this law, must hear it and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. And so today, we as Christians need to find ways to work together across our communities, to embrace those who are isolated and alone, without a family, and embrace them into the family of God and into our own families.